back to my channel. This is Christina Ellison. Um, today I wanted to go over with you um, My Father's World Voyage of Discovery. Uh, this is their pre-K program for ages 3, 4, to 5. Um, we have used this, and this is my second time through using this program. And um, I will have, I will probably be teaching it two more times. So, um, a total of four times if I use it with at least my four youngers. This was not out when I had my oldest, so we did not do it then. So I actually made this whole video earlier and I used my iPad, not my iPad, my iPhone, and the sound was terrible. So I'm having to remake it. So now I'm gonna show it to you like if you were my friend sitting in my house and we're just, I'm showing you curriculum and like how cool it is. So let's get started. So with what comes with your uh, curriculum is obviously the teacher's manual and I can show you a closer up of this, the inside of it, um, a little bit later in the video. So you also get two for one. Um, this is Steve Green's CDs. You get two CDs in this and my um, four-year-old loves this. And you listen to a song every day for a week and then it really, the songs get stuck in your head and it like hides the words of the Bible in your heart which is one of the songs, so it's pretty awesome. The Preschooler's Bible. We have a sticker on it. Oops. A big book of things to spot. Big thoughts for little people. What do people do all day? Richard Scary. And God's little guidebooks. So there's 10 of these. This is for when you go over um, the Ten Commandments. Mom, I just will leave me away here. Oh, okay, thank you. Do you want to say hi? Hi to who? On the camera. You can be in it. <laughs> okay, come here. Hi. <laughs> you got a sticky face. Sorry for the interruption. <laughs> okay. Over in the meadow. This is illustrated by <laughs> uh, by Ezra Jack Keats. Crossroads a character and the sailor dog. So all these books come with the curriculum. It's not as much as their All Aboard the Animal Train, which I wish it, I wish they had more. I, I like all the books, but that's all right. Um, they have a great book list in the back. So uh, this is one I added, Eating the Alphabet, and it actually might be on their book list. I don't know if it's supposed to say that, <laughs> but it is. Um, so there's a lot of days where you do snacks that correspond with the letters that you're learning and I find this to be very helpful because I don't always have the snacks. So we can just talk about food that starts with that letter. So that's fine. Let's see. Okay, so those are all the books and the CD that's included. You also get these little um, vehicle counters. I use these quite a bit. You get... So I had all these bins. I bought these just like a Target and I labeled them. So. So you get these lacing little, um, what are they called? Fit a space. And so they've got the little shapes that go in and then you also get lacing cards. Um, to use all these kinds of things every day. So they're great for those fine motor skills to practice. Okay, this is, okay, this is the, what's it called? Science discovery set. So you get little beakers, you get a uh, dropper, a magnifying glass, and tweezers. You also get some paints. Ours are definitely used. Okay, you also get number puzzle boards. 
so it's these kind of things. And then all these pegs that then you use. You get a totally like be like if you were just my friend sitting here <laughs> up in my school room. Here we go. You get one of these. And then these can go in. My kids like to pretend to make cakes. You also get alphabet puzzle boards. So these for each letter. And lastly, oh no, two more things. You get this that we use a lot. And these alphabet match cards that you can see. I don't think you can see. So they practice their letters and then they glue these on. This is all that's included with the Voyage of Discovery pre-K package uh, curriculum. So it's a it's quite a bit of stuff once you you know look at it all. I mean all just the like toys itself that's a lot of stuff um so you might not get as many books but you do get a lot of educational toys which is super for this age um so what did i add on to it i added these so i have one for every single letter this was given to us um it, what they're containers that have things that start with that letter. So we've got, you know, ambulance, antelope, astronaut, alligator, apple, and then you get little letters. There you go. Um, so they're kind of a pain to store because they there's a lot of them. But um, since I have so many that I'll be teaching preschool to, I feel like they're worth it. Um, so obviously, if you only have one kid, or if you have um, you're on your last kid, you may not want these because they do take up a lot of space. They're not really necessary, but they they do make school fun. So um, I've also added on these nature activity cards these are from rainbow resource and they're really pretty i'll show you okay let's do d is for duckling so they're just really pretty and then you know duckling's a baby duck and then you see other little babies and you talk about it and it's just pretty nature things so you know we just did b is for butterfly and oh c is for conquer that'll be fun so anyways they're just really pretty and i feel like they're just right for this age they give enough they ask enough questions but they're just pretty and ask so they can ask things about nature which this program is um this program is charlotte mason based and she's very much into nature studies and so I felt like these were perfect. So these are the number ones. So they also will learn their numbers. So we have one, one squirrel, has all these things. And it asks like, can you find which one's the smallest and which one's the biggest? So that's fun. And then let's see, two jackdaws. We can talk about that. And, uh, you've got the female birds and the male birds and it talks about pairs my kid my child was confused about pears she was like like we eat <laughs> so i had to explain no 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 pairs of things Ugh, english language okay anyways let's continue so i also added these on so these are alphabet tail alpha tails so they are books, little stories for each letter of the alphabet. So Bubble Bear, we've got um, The Adventures of Abby Alligator, and it just goes on and on. Copycats. So the whole alphabet. These are really great 
for to add on. I got these off of Amazon and I feel like they've been a great um, addition to the program. Okay, so I forgot to include this in the beginning of things that come with the curriculum. You also get uh, the activity card. Now this used to be just what their preschool program was. And I guess you could either maybe buy the educational toys from them or you would buy those separately. I'm not quite sure how it worked. Um, so I got this from the holder, just from the Dollar Tree. But I got them all separated out and then it gives you little activities to do with them, to do with the educational toys. So that's fun. And also this I forgot to show. These are um, ocean cookie cutters because it's Voyage of Discovery. It goes that way. <laughs> so anyways, they give you a whole list of um, stuff to do with them, with the cookie cutters. We have not used these yet, but I'm hoping we will. Okay, the last thing I add to this program, this is what I used to use, I'll show you. Um, I used to use the Abeka letters and then they're big enough, we can um, use them to trace with Play-Doh when we're learning the letters and so she can use the Play-Doh. But to keep with how uh, my father's world teaches phonics, I decided to use their cards this year. I have not gotten these laminated yet but you could trace the Play-Doh on them. They're pretty small though. So I would probably recommend using something bigger or just free trace it and show them how to do it. So there's that. They also recommend a um, to make a treasure box for them because they get uh, money, like a penny or a dime or whatever you want to do each week when they learn their new letter or something. So we've done the treasure box before, but it's kind of bulky and difficult. So I actually just use a um, pencil pouch it's just easier and then and I got the clear one so she can see her money in it that she's gotten so far so that's just easier for us but do you know what works best for you um, okay so pros and cons of uh, the program uh, the pros is it's a very hands-on preschool program they will learn their letters their numbers the, uh, their shapes, colors, and a lot of Bible. So that's my favorite part of this program. You go through the entire Bible that I showed you earlier, and then they do a lot of hands-on stuff. So this is her Noah's Ark, and we even, you know, have a little door. This is obviously just a box we had. Um, so they recommend making little animals. I had stickers, so we just made pairs of animals. And cut them out and we even had I had I had gotten these stickers from Dollar Tree so I had somehow I had a Noah and then a gal was on it so it's Noah's wife sure and um, so it really helps visualize the story for the kids and you even like what did they do they fed the animals so you feed them and then we actually made this was her favorite part we use brown paper for poop and we put it in and like, oh, okay, now Noah and his wife and their family, they need to go clean out the ark. So we'd have them throw it out of the boat and it just really uh, made the story more alive for them, for her. So, and then like you, the day that it's raining, you drop paper on it. So it's just really like, I think it's excellent for teaching this age Bible. So. That is one of my favorite parts about this. Now, cons of this program is that sometimes it takes a long time, or I feel like it takes a long time. Um, if you really want to do everything for that day, uh, sometimes it can take an hour and I have a lot of other kids I got to teach. And sometimes I feel like I don't have that much time to spend to teach all this. Um, but she loves it. So it's definitely worth the time. And um, just having that one-on-one -on -one with me is with so many other kids at home. It's it just makes it really special for them. Um, what else? 
Okay, so another pro is that you have this big book of things to spot. And so this helps with counting and it helps, uh, well, definitely with counting. So, and recognizing numbers. So I feel like this has been really useful. It seems like it's such a basic thing, but it's scheduled at least weekly. And so it's nice um, to just keep doing that counting with them because uh, my four-year-old right now kind of struggles with just counting. <laughs> so this has been a, a helpful one. So back to the teacher's manual. Here's a example of week one. And see, I check mine all up. Not everyone does that, but I just like to keep track that way. And I'm not like, what, which week am I on? Um, or like having to move some people to put like sheet protectors on it. And I just, I don't like to do it. I just like to have, I just need it to be quick. Cause I have three, I have three um, teacher's manual going at once right now. And I'm going to have four probably soon here. So I just don't have time to make copies or to do anything like that. So that's how we do it. So you would listen to the song and then do your Bible time with them. And then they have an outside recommendation and then a story time and then an educational toy. And on day five is always an outing either to like a park or to a, on a field trip. And it even gives um, scripture for you to read at home, read on your own, not with the kids. Uh, just to get you in the word so you know what you're teaching. If you're not really um, well versed in the Bible, it helps you to know what, what you're reading about um, just in your regular Bible. So I like that as well. Um, and the book list. Oh, that's another con. I, I love their book list. However, this one is not a... Um, uh, in their other curriculums, it's written out per week, where this one is just a general book list. So um, you have to kind of figure out what books would work for which week, which when I make a list to go to the library, let's say, or go through my bookshelf, I look at that week and I'll pull them all out. And we have a basket I keep them in. And for hers, it's kind of harder because I don't know <laughs> You know, I can just pick general books, which are fun, but um, I like it to go along with the lessons and that doesn't always happen. So, and maybe that's a good thing because maybe it's just to just read them fun books. So, uh, which we do a lot of our read alouds at lunchtime and in the evening. So, uh, that's not always necessarily with the school time. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. That was a lot of information and sorry it was all... <laughs> Just holding it up. I was hoping to, you know, lay it all out, but it, I, making another video of this, I, it's a little sad. So, anyway, so here is uh, the Voyage of Discovery, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like to give it a give it a thumbs up, and I really recommend you trying this out. Um, this is not a sponsor video. We just really love my father's world and their curriculum, and it has just blessed our family richly and has helped us with teaching our kids um, and just helped us know what's most important and that's teaching our kids the word of God. So um, I highly recommend this and uh, thanks again for watching.